So it's time for E.B. Tiva's baby shower. And Cynthia put it all together. She had everything that Eva wanted for the baby shower. And one thing about it and two things for certain, I am very proud of the progress that Cynthia and Eva have made. Just due to the fact that they had a, a little bit of an issue at the beginning with the shade throwing and the lies about, you know, paying Will to date Cynthia and all that other shit. I see that they have been making some strides in their relationship and I can really appreciate that. So big ups to Cynthia and Eva. So um, Nene, Tanya, and Shamia and Portia, they discuss everything that happened with the couple's night. And, um, you know, it's basically like they were basically talking about Kenya and her behavior towards um, Tanya and her behavior towards Nene. And, you know, I'm just going to say this. Let me just let me just make this clear. OK, Kenya fans and Nene fans are just the fuck alike. They are just alike. When you when you drag Kenya for something, Kenya stands want to get mad. When you drag Nene for something, Nene stands get mad. Did y'all not see that video? They're giving you the real tea, a.k.a. Terrence did last week. They get mad when you say something about and one of them. They act like both of them cannot be called out on their stuff. You will, I don't care. This is my channel. I'm going to be as unbiased as possible. And if I feel like a bitch needs to be called out, they're going to be called out. And if you don't like it, you know what the hell you can do. Move on. Because Nene and Kenya both have done a lot this season that's been fucking annoying. And they're going to get called out on it. And I don't care how you feel about it. Anyway, so um, Nene was talking about how she has extended an olive branch to Kenya. She's been trying to be cool with Kenya, but Kenya really ain't allowing her to be cool with her. And she's over it at this point. And it's like this, Nene. If a bitch don't want to fuck with you like that, she ain't got to fuck with you like that. And the only thing you can do is accept it. You already did your part in the situation. If you if you have made that olive branch like you said you have then let it go it, there's really no point or anything like that to even constantly keep going and keep trying to try to you know extend yourself that's not and there's also no point for you to get mad either because if a bitch don't want to talk to you then they just don't want to talk to you and there's no point of you getting upset about it if <clears throat> you did your part <clears throat> and it just ain't meant for y'all to be cool so um can you was talking about um, Mark and the food situation. The team was like, after you say I love you, the next question is, what do you want for dinner? And then Tanya and Kenya was like, well, first of all, Tanya and Paul not even married. I have a husband, number one, and she can't be doing too much about food considering the fact that he wants to go over there where the cookies are. And I'm like, Kenya, you're doing that same stuff that Felony Parks used to do. Cuz, let's talk about how I have a husband and I got a husband. It don't matter if you got a husband at this point. You got a husband that ain't treating you worth a damn. So, don't start playing that husband card because you didn't like it when Phaedra used to play that, that same dumbass card with you. So, don't start playing it with her. It don't matter if you got a husband at this point. You know, and that's a lot. That's, that, people do that a lot. Even even this damn bum that come in some up under my shit all the time who has, you know, remembered all of my um, stories about my heartbreaking situations with men in the past. They remember this one thing and they want to every time I critique somebody on these shows. Oh, you talking about such and such and you can't even keep a man. I'd rather be single than to be with somebody that's fucking animals. I'd rather be single than to be with somebody who doesn't acknowledge me. And I'd rather be single than to deal with someone that, that disrespects me on a regular. People really believe that having a man is, a, is an accomplishment. Anybody can have a man. Do you know how many DMs I get a week? I don't need no man. If I want one, I can have one. There's a lot of them that's waiting on me, trust. But at the end of the day, I don't have to have a man. And that just goes back to what Kenya be saying. Well, just said this husband stuff. I used to hate it when Phaedra used to do that stuff. Like, at the end of the day, having a husband is not a fucking accomplishment. Especially if they're not treating you, treating your ass worth a damn. And Mark don't even like Kenya, so she can stop. So, um, they start playing the sucking game. And apparently, Shamia knows how to suck dick better than everybody on the show. So then, you know, the games continue. And as the games continue, Kenya pull, I mean, Candy pulls Kenya and Tanya to the side. And she basically wants them to put their beef aside for the sake of Mark. 
And, um, you know, Kenya really acts like she really didn't do nothing wrong with the Tanya shit, but she did. At the end of the day, she was a bitch to Tanya. On top of that, she brought that cookie lady there. It was a sad case of bullying. Like, she was sitting up there treating Tanya like she treated Kim Fields, like, straight up. So, she was wrong for that. And she act like she can never admit to when she's wrong. Now, I think she admitted it. I don't, I don't recall, but, girl, you were wrong. Stop making excuses. So, apparently, Candy is trying out for the shy, and she's about to play a lesbian, basically. And it was so funny when Don Juan and Carmen pretty much said that um, Candy, this role should not be hard for Candy. You already got a masculine energy. I was like, Don Juan trying to call you a stud, Candy. And you do give me a bit of stud. You, do, you know, you do give me a bit of that. But it's okay, girl. It's all right. You are, you would be the dominant lesbian if you were one. That's what I think. Right, do you but i'm glad to see candy constantly flourish escape back together they working on the movie she got her toy line she got her restaurants candy is the sole reason why well not sole reason why but it's the re it's, it's the soul it's the like the picture perfect person to to um to give an example of as a person that used this show to their advantage when candy did this show all she really had was like her songwriting credits in her um, boutique or something like that. And I think she had another business. But as this show progressed, as she continued to be on the show, she built business after business after business after business. And they all have been successful. So shout out to Candy and what she's doing. But I think that she has a lot on her plate, especially being that her baby is on the way. And I would hope that it doesn't interfere with what she got going on. But Candy is a go-getter. She's going to get it the way she lives. So shout out to Candy. So um, Cynthia and Kenya, they sit down and they talk. And, um... You know, Cynthia basically tells Kenya about how her and Mike had a big fight about canceling and things of that nature. And then Kenya starts talking about her relationship with, Ma with Mark and how he makes her feel and how she wished that things were the way it was the first three months. What we got to understand is when we meet a man, the first the first few weeks, the first few months, it's going to be perfect. They, they want to get you in. But as, as time progresses, you see who they really are. And then you wonder who they was before they met you. Some people change, but some people do got their fucked up ways. And that's all I can say about that. But um, it was crazy to see how Kenya is really in turmoil in her marriage. It's really crazy. Um, Nene talks to Wendy Williams. And it's all about Kenya. All about Kenya. Nene acts like she's not pressed by this girl and she really acts like she really don't want to be friends with this girl, but she's acting like she does. She keeps talking about how she's text Kenya, how Kenya ignored her, how she's constantly tried to pull the whole, you know, I'm trying to extend the olive branch thing to Kenya. Girl, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. The girl don't want to fuck with you. Let it go. You don't want to fuck with her either. Let it go. Like, it's no point of y'all pretending like y'all like each other. It's no point of y'all trying to pretend like y'all really want to vibe and fuck with each other. Y'all don't. So just keep it moving and just stop because y'all don't like each other like that. And own it, acknowledge it, and keep it moving. That's how I feel. Like, stop it. Especially Nene, because you know you don't give a fuck about that girl not texting you back. You don't like the girl. You tried to fight the girl. And then in the next couple of episodes, you're going to try to spit on the damn girl. So you really don't give a fuck about Kenya like this. Stop acting like you do. Just focus on the motherfuckers that do want to fuck with you. Kenya don't want to fuck with you. She don't want to have nothing to do with you. Let it go. Say fuck Kenya and move on. Why are you pressed? Let it go. Because I'd I be damned if I extend an olive branch to somebody more than one time. When I extend an olive branch to your ass the first time, that is my first and my last time. If you don't accept it, that's on you. I don't give a fuck. That's how I feel about it. So, no. Uh-uh. No, no, no. So, it's the day of Mark's event. Kenya comes in with a bunch of bags. She went out shopping for Mark to see what he going to put on and everything like that. And he is so rude and obnoxious and an asshole and disrespectful to this girl. And I really felt bad for her. Like, he really be looking down on her. He's very condescending, very fucked up to her. And I'm like, Kenya may be a lot of things, but she don't deserve no shit like that. Like, don't no woman deserve no man like that who... Who down talks her and all of this other shit. Like, she doesn't deserve that. I don't care how nobody feels about her. Like, she don't deserve that. Like, that's wrong. Like, straight up. Um, It's this event. 
and Mike Hill and Eva arrive. No, Mike Hill. No, 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 no. It's not Mike Hill. It's Mike Sterling. Mike Sterling and Eva arrives, and Mark asks him to speak at the last minute. I'm like, really? Okay. So Tanya comes in with Portia and Dennis. She's the third wheel. She didn't even bother telling Paul about the event because pretty much Paul don't want to be around Kenya Ash. She done brought this cookie bitch to this damn show. He don't want to be around her. He probably don't want to be around a group. Who could fucking blame him? So Tanya was like, what would be the point of me even telling him about this event? He don't want to show up. Point taken. He don't want to come. Fuck it. So, um... Marlo arrives with her two nephews, and I thought that was a good thing to do. They need to be around a bunch of positive black men, but Kenya is, like, being real bitchy to her, like, pushing her to the back of the damn room, like, being still being petty, because Mark didn't really give a damn about that damn seating chart, but Kenya just had to give a fuck about it, had to make it about her and be petty. That's all she wants. That's why she wanted to do that seating chart so bad, because she wanted to be petty, and that's just what it is. So, now, she's just making herself look bad throughout the whole situation, and when Mark went up there and did his speech, and then Mike did, Mike Hill did his, Mike acknowledged Cynthia, Mark did not acknowledge Kenya now one time, and I felt so bad for her, this supposed to be your motherfucking husband, bitch, and he don't even acknowledge you at an event that's important to him, that's wrong, that's foul, and it's fucked up. But one can say that that's your karma for how you always talk about everybody else's relationship. You just got through talking about Tanya and Paul. You're talking about Kenya and um fucking, not Kenya. You're talking about Phaedra and Apollo for years. And you were talking about Portia and Cordell's relationship. Like you always got something to say about somebody else's man all the time. But now look at you. You, you did the same shit with Natalie and Christopher Williams and shit. Acting like you knew her man more than she did. So look at you now. I hate to say it, but that's kind of your karma at the end of the day. You know, everybody received karma. Hell, I've received it for the bullshit I've done. So fuck all that. Um, so Marlo gets ready to leave, but Cynthia, Eva, and Portia come in. They check on her, and they like, no, just stay. There's a table right there next to Eva. You can sit there. And Marlo's like, well, okay, it's it's okay. I'll come back. Mike Sterling speaks. He talks about his journey with being adopted and how it made him the man he is today. That was a very touching speech. But Kenya is more so annoyed by Marlo and the whole situation with the tables and shit like that. Girl, stop focusing on that. You can talk about that at another time. This is about some positive shit. You up here focusing on the petty shit. And then when somebody asked Mark how he felt about being married, he said, I hate it. I hate it. You all already know that. Y'all, I hate it. That was sad, though. Mark really don't like Kenya. Like, that's sad. You know, when you think you got a happily ever after and you really don't, that's sad. It is. And I think that's fucked up. It's really fucked up. I like that's That's, that's, that's sad what to me. I don't like that. But y'all, and then he didn't even want them filming no more. He said, because after this, y'all won't be seeing me no more. And then after that, that's when they, it, that's when they um, at, announced their damn separation. It, it gets juicy and juicy as the episodes go by. Just to let you guys know, I am in my, I'm in my, well, we're in our new home now, as y'all can see from the backdrop of me being in my walk-in closet doing my review. Um, the camera is coming back. Um, it's just the fact that um, I don't have internet right now. The internet, Com Comcast hasn't came here yet, so we don't have internet nor cable yet, so I had to wait till it popped up on Broken Silence for me to do this review, so I'm doing it from my phone. And as um, soon as everything gets situated, the camera will be back, and the quality just might be better when it comes back. So with that being said, you guys, I'm out of here. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at Scotty underscore by underscore nature. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And also, y'all know that I am here for all your wretched needs, whether it be for commentary on reality shows such as this one, hot topics, or just all things real talk. With that being said, your boy Scotty is out of here, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.